Hello everyone, welcome to the Metal Crafter. Today we continue with our Rise of the Rune Lords series and we're going to create a fruits slash vegetable stall that you can use during the Swallowtail Festival. This is a basic craft so you can easily run it on your own campaigns if you're not running this adventure path. As a bonus we'll be reusing part of these structures into another stall, in this case an armory, with shields and weapons. Let's hit the table! Our vegetable stall will consist of a table slash stand holding three open crates and then a long single crate holding five storage places that will stand in the floor. We start crafting the crates for which we'll use popsicle sticks for the sides and thin cardboard for the base. First, we make some lines in the sticks with a sharp tool. Then cut six 2 cm long and six 2.5 cm long pieces. We also cut three pieces of thin cardboard, two cm by 2.9 cm and glue all pieces with super glue. Once we have all three crates, we move with the standing stall. For the base, we'll use two sticks and cut them in 10 cm long pieces. My basic popsicle sticks are 1 cm wide, so our stand will be 2 cm wide. We use some stick leftovers to glue both pieces together. And then cut some small sticks around 1.2 cm long to make the legs of the table and glue them with super glue. I wanted for the crates to have an inclination over the stand, so we'll need some support in the front and back of the base. For the front, I'll use a small MDF stick, around 2 or 3 millimeter wide. And for the back, I cut another taller one, around 7 millimeter. You can easily use a piece of cardboard or even cut a popsicle stick for this. 
We then glue them to the base. We proceed now with the single floor crate for which we cut a 2 by 9 cm piece of cardboard as the base. We then cut two 8.9 cm long pieces of sticks as the main sides. And two other 2 cm long pieces as the shorter sides. Then we cut four 1.7 cm long sticks to make the internal sides of the crate that will divide each of the storage places. We glue everything together with super glue. Our food stand's structure is now complete and we can move on with painting. Dark brown as the base, a black wash, some light brown or tan as dry brush and highlights, and one last homemade black wash. But what would be of a food stand without the food, right? We are mainly going to use some seeds to make up our fruits and vegetables. I've got some regular rice, which makes great carrots, some lentils, some yamani rice, which are shorter, and some round beets to be used as melons and apples. 
We add some PVA glue as base in one of the crate sections and fill it with the rice. We then add some diluted PVA so the grains will merge together and stay in place. We follow the same process for the other sections and the individual crates. In one of them we'll cut some small pieces of a green sponge to make some sort of green lettuce or similar vegetable. For the round beads used, we'll cut some small pieces of a toothpick and we'll glue them to the holes to make up the fruit stock. You can also do this step in each individual bead before gluing them into the crates. We then proceed with some basic paint over the fruits and vegetables. All right, our food stand is ready and we can see how it looks like in the table. So, I thought the table piece of this stand could easily be reused in other different types of shops. like an armory, so we're going to add some elements for that. I cut a single 9cm long piece of these wider sticks that I got, which will work as the base for our shields display.
For the lower part, I crafted a simple table with the same technique as in our previous podio video. I'll leave the link to that video in the description below. I reach out to my casted items, can for shield and weapons options to use in this stand. Check out my other videos on how to mold and cast these items and others. Once selected, I make a preliminary lineup of the items over the bases. Before gluing our objects, we paint both stands with the same process as earlier in the video. We use the help of some pliers to line up the shields and weapons and glue them with some little PVA glue. We can see now how the armory looks like in our table. So there we have it, some basic stalls that you can use in any campaign. In the next video we're going to create some merchant tents that can easily go along with these stands. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments below. See you in the next craft!